During November, we are encouraged to pray for all those who have died. In fact, during this month, most churches will have a box where you can place the names of your family members and friends who have died, and the priest throughout this month will offer Mass for those people. It's a beautiful tradition of the church. Now, our readings this weekend, interestingly, explores not only the theme of death, but also the reality of the resurrection. So let's unpack this gospel for this weekend open. So in this weekend's gospel, the Sadducees wanted to trick Jesus with a difficult question. But who were they? Well, the Sadducees were a group of priests who held the most important positions in the Jewish synagogue. Now, they disagreed with most of Jesus' teachings, and they were really annoyed that so many people were listening to Jesus and believing what he was telling them. Now, the Sadducees did not believe in this idea of the resurrection and eternal life, and so the question they asked Jesus was designed to embarrass him in front of his followers. But instead, Jesus, through his answer, reinforces the truth of the resurrection and eternal life. Jesus says those who have been raised to life will be like the angels and will be God's children. Now even if we look at our first reading, there was a family who were arrested and they were tortured and they were even willing to be put to death. Now this family, well, one of the siblings, the brother, before he died, the brother said courageously to the king and his army who arrested him, the brother said, we are willing for you to kill us because God has promised to raise us to life. See, even in our first reading, there's this resurrection theme, resurrection reality. Now bringing this to us, for us Catholics, well, our challenge then is to continue to live in the hope of the resurrection. Now when we are baptised, or when we were baptised, we were promised eternal life thanks to Jesus' passion, death and resurrection. Now at the beginning, in my introduction, I said that we, especially during the month of November, pray for those who have died. And as I said, it's a beautiful tradition of the church. You know, when we pray for our loved ones who've gone before us, who've died, who are now in the kingdom of heaven, when we pray for those who've died, we do so in hope, in hope of the resurrection. Now, if we think back to last week, the last, kind of my video reflection from last week, I got us to pray the beautiful eternal rest prayer. And so for this week, I invite us to pray again a prayer that, that asks, well, invites us to pray for those who have died. And so as always, why don't, we, uh, why don't we start the prayer with the sign of the cross? So in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. And so I invite us to pray. Loving God, we pray for our family and friends who have died. We miss them, but know that they will be very happy with you. May they rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And as always, I pray that you have a blessed week, and that we'll see you again. God bless.